Good morning and welcome to Portland. My flight here was pretty great. I was on Delta and surprisingly they fed me. They had like a little menu of like three options and I was so shocked because I haven't been on a domestic flight in a long time that fed you. So that was pretty nice even though my seat didn't recline. And I got in late. The weather's been pretty cooperative. It hasn't rained too much. I started today without any coffee. Not enough sleep. God, those wings were amazing. They were sticky, sweet, and fishy. And they were paired with this like salad of like sweet quick pickles and this Thai basil that really came together in a magical, magical, mystical way. I cannot I cannot explain to you how good it was. It is it is one of those top tier kinds of foods and I highly recommend it to anybody who comes to Portland.
I'm at Tasty and Adler, um, which is really busy right now on a Friday morning. I uh, feel like these breakfast places are really crowded on days where people should be working. I don't know how they pull it off. Yesterday, I spent the majority of the day in the eastern part of Portland on the east side of the river. So I feel like I did all of that. I ended up biking 14 miles, which isn't a lot for people who bike all the time, but I was exhausted and not able to like stay straight on the bike near the end. So it was, it was a lot for me. Went to the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry, which was super cool. Saw a planetarium show and I, I saw a movie about space. And um, today I'm now on the west side of the river and I'm starting out with brunch. And then after that, if the weather is still not too rainy, I'm going to the zoo. I ordered the pota chocolate potato donut because I read online that that's really popular even though it doesn't sound like something I would normally get. And I ordered the steak and eggs even though it's like sounds like a lot of food, but it's really popular here. So if I can't finish it, I'm probably gonna finish it. I just will skip lunch. I'm at Salt and Straw, an ice cream place known for its quirky flavors here in Portland. And lucky for me, it's right next to a Blue Star Donut, which is right across the street over there, which is a place I wanted to go to also. These are the quirky flavors right here. Um, I'm thinking about blue cheese and pear, but I also might go safe and just get like caramel sea salt, so we'll see. So I just had a very interesting pear and blue cheese ice cream from Salt and Straw, which is a little further back there. Um, I thought it just had pieces of pear in it, but it actually had pieces of pear and pieces of blue cheese in it, which was shocking when I reached those chunks of blue cheese. But uh, it was interesting, that's for sure. Now I'm going to uh, Blue Star Donut. Um, which I read is one of the best donut places in Portland. Uh, I read that Voodoo Donuts is overrated and you should try Blue Star. I'm going to try them both. But the nice thing about Blue Star is that it's not super crowded like uh, Voodoo Donuts. Something to wash that taste of blue cheese and pear out of my mouth.